Marion School District will ask the community to consider two important referendum questions on November 5th. These proposals are designed to improve the quality and safety of our schools, ensuring they meet the needs of students today and for years to come. We will have more details on the two questions shortly, but first, let's examine how schools are funded and the tax impact. In Wisconsin, public schools rely on three main funding sources, federal, state, and local taxes. Federal funding contributes only a small fraction of school districts revenue. The primary sources of income are state equalization aid, which is allocated by the state of Wisconsin and local property taxes. However, the state imposes a funding formula that caps the revenue any school district can collect from all sources, including local property taxes. This is why referendums are necessary for large projects and why so many school districts across the state are putting these measures on the ballot. Now, let's take a closer look at what's on the ballot and how these improvements could shape the future of our district. Question 1 asks the community to approve general obligation bonds of up to $7.38 million. This funding will focus on critical infrastructure updates across the district, including much needed repairs, maintenance, and safety upgrades. At Marion Elementary School, we're planning accessibility improvements such as ADA compliant restrooms and doorways. We'll also remodel the office space to create a secure entrance, enhancing student safety. Additionally, essential building systems like HVAC, water lines, and electrical service will be replaced to ensure our school remains a safe and efficient learning place. At Marion High School, updates will be made to improve our science, agriculture, and technical education spaces. This includes better ventilation, power, and technology to support hands-on learning and new equipment for agriculture, food science, trades, and engineering programs. Also, portions of the high school roof require replacement. Question 2 seeks approval for $7.6 million in general obligation bonds to create a combined elementary and middle school on the current elementary school campus. This project will include constructing an addition with a new kitchen and a commons area, a training room, restrooms, and supply storage. The cafeteria will be remodeled to create additional classroom space for elementary and middle school students. By consolidating the two schools into one campus, we can create a more efficient and connected learning environment. These improvements are designed to provide a safer, more accessible, and modern learning environment for our students. Investing in our facilities now ensures that our schools can continue supporting a high quality education and preparing students for the future. If question one is approved, the projected school district tax impact would be approximately $0.95 cents per $1,000 of property valuation, meaning the owner of a $100,000 home would pay $95 more per year. If question 2 is approved, the projected school district tax impact would be approximately $0.98 cents per $1,000 of property valuation, meaning the owner of a $100,000 home would pay $98 more per year. If both questions were approved, the projected school district tax impact would be approximately $1.93 per $1,000 of property valuation, meaning the owner of a $100,000 home would be pay $193 more per year. Thank you for your ongoing support as we work together to build a path to a successful tomorrow for our students and community. To learn more about the referendum and how it will impact our schools, visit marion.k12.wi.us or contact the district office.